Okay, we're going to talk today about how to pick the right theme for your business, how to set it up to where it drives people to perform a certain function. And what we want to do is we want to answer three questions when people come to your website. The three questions are, where am I? What do you want me to do? And why should I do it with you? Okay. And you know, we're, we're trying to establish credibility early with our website. So a theme is one of the best ways that you can do that. And mine, I like my theme. It's pretty clean. And, and I made some changes to it back in November of last year that I started to understand what Google Analytics was and, and how to get your time on site and page views uh, better. And, you know, a key part is this custom header. And I, I'm, I've got an article on my page about using PowerPoint to set up a custom header, but I designed that with this one here. But you can also download different fonts. And we're going to be talking about that later in the series. But basically, you're going to drive people to your most predominant parts of your page. And these pages right here, what I call my top level pages, these are my money pages. So your best content, your best information should be right here front and center on your navigation menu. Okay. And this one has two navigation menus on this theme. So these are good things that I have, but they're not the best information that I have. These are, in my opinion, the best things that I have for my site that will help keep people on like training videos, for example. There's all kinds of training videos on here that people can can view, but it will help keep my uh, time on site better, which Google likes. They want page views. They want your bounce rate to be low. And I want to show you what I'm talking about there. I'm going to go over to Google Analytics, okay? And I started using a company called TribePro, and you can see that my traffic has spiked dramatically. But in the last month, I've had 6,337 views, 5,600 unique visitors, Average time on site is down. I need to get that up. I've had some search terms that have that has affected that, but the page views, pages per visit are 4.19. Uh, this is a very good bounce rate, meaning that they viewed more than one page of my website. So, uh, and the biggest key factor for that was this slider that I have on my front page. And you can also see that I've got little thumbnail images here uh, that help you tell a little bit more about the article before you even get in there okay so you want to find some good images um, you know to alert people hey come in and look at me and these are things that we're going to talk about too on your design is you know this is good and clean remember we, we, we want to answer the question what do you want me to do next well the most predominant things are this slider here and this opt-in box we want to capture someone's email if at all possible and this is the best way to do it this has got a big red arrow here saying sign up now and you want to give away an offering, uh, you know, to your visitors to get them to sign up to where they don't just leave your page and, and never come back. So uh, that's the goal of this opt-in box here is get your information, get your offer up there enough to where people will want to trade that information for a name and email address that you can follow up with them later. But focus on this, focus on the things that you're best at, put those right up here front and center, what you're known for. So let's go out and, and find out who the best theme companies are. Uh, one of the ones I like are Woo themes. A lot of people, this is one of the more popular ones out there. They were designed by designers for the average person, but pretty clean. A lot of uh, options. A lot of people like this because there's some, some coding that, that you can use for these. So I do like Woo, Woo themes. The one that I use is theme for press. Okay, and you can buy all their themes. I think they have 13 premium themes for $75. I think I paid for all the themes that, that I have access to. But at any rate, I like these guys because I've got tons of options inside of my theme. Okay, I've got uh, general, general settings, layout, typography. I can do box layouts. I can put custom backgrounds on it. I can change the color of my widgets, the navigation styling, just really, really nice change the, the background color on navigation, the font size, slider settings, you know, I can change the speed of the slider, just so many options, but it, but it has places for Google Analytics here, and um, feed burner, uh, email, contact form, email, just a, a great, great theme that I really like that has a lot of options, and some of the free things themes are good, but they don't have these kind of options, so one option that a lot of people use they go out to a company called Theme Forest, and these guys you can buy a theme 
sometimes for $15, uh, $10, $35. And they also have you know, a lot of partners like Audio Jungle is a place where you can go out and get special effects, after effects for videos, uh, 3D graphics, and uh, just really cool stuff with these guys if you go out to themeforest.net and um, you know, I've got links on this this uh, this article so you can go check those out but for example we can look at popular files from these guys Audio Jungle that's a nice one there that you can play in front of your video Audio really Jungle cool. Okay, but that's what you can put and you can play that in the background of your videos. Then the, the last one I want to talk about is Studio Press, okay? These guys, if you're in the real estate business, they have Agent Press, which is one of the best themes for real estate agents. But they've got the lifestyle theme, which is still to this day one of the more popular blog themes that's out there. But they use the Genesis framework. It's like my theme. It's got a lot of options. I've used this before. It just depends. It's a personal preference. but Depending on what your goal is, remember you want to drive people to wherever you want them to go. Okay, get your opt-in form set up, and we're going to be talking about that with plugins. But let's go back. Let's go back in my dashboard and show you how we can find themes. Okay, you're going to go under appearance, and you're going to go. And these are the themes that I have installed here. Okay, uh, I like bold news from Woo Themes, but we'll go out to install themes, and then I can search for real estate, for example. And this, I, I noticed this earlier, this is a really nice theme for a real estate agent. And this may be free. And depending on what your budget is, you know, this is a nice clean theme as well. You know, but again, it's it's driving you toward the listings in your search bar. This is where they want you to go. Okay. So that's that's a nice theme, but you could also go to just depending on what industry you're in, you can choose from a lot of free themes that are already out there. We can type in personal trainer, for example. Okay, a couple a couple different options here, but you can look by industry, but the main thing that you want to look for, in my opinion, these are the things that I want. For me, I want two columns where I can place my ads and the things that I want in my sidebar. I can put YouTube videos here, I can put a search bar, I can put the ultimate follow me plugin, which we're going to talk about plugins and widgets on the next video. Advertisements, a tag cloud here, another advertisement here but you also want a custom header okay and preferably a uh, an adaptable resizable custom header but I'm going to show you how you can put, change the size of that make that fit perfectly there uh, later in the series as well but uh, custom background is nice as well but these are the big things that I want I want a custom header and a custom background because we can tell our message right here early if we pick out the right theme but if you can't put on a custom header, that's not the best way to send your message. You want to tell it quick. What does this guy do? Uh, why should I do it with him? He's got some credibility. Uh, I like some of his content and this is where he wants me to go. He wants me to get his, his video email series or video series about how to set up a blog. And you can also obviously get some free books as you've noticed. But those are the important things that I'm looking for in a good theme. Uh, another thing that we're going to talk about later is premise and landing pages. You can get landing page themes over here at ThemeForest. And if I click on landing pages, you can see that uh, there's some really cool landing pages that you can buy for $8. This one is really cool for 11 bucks. We can get a nice website theme. Depending on, you know, if you don't want a blog and you just want a landing page, it's extremely nice. We can choose this layout here, but there you go. It's it's very simple to work with. You're going to get the theme installed and we can change the color on that. Really a lot of options with ThemeForest. Of course Audio Jungle for video marketing later which we'll, we, we will be talking about. But I hope that helps out for now and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care everybody.